What is on the menu? Well, you'll have to stick pasta, around. Pasta. A little pasta. Sauce. And a, a great sandwich, okay? Uh, something you can do at home. Plus, there's an off-Broadway uh, show called Hereafter Musical. It's about losing a loved one. We're going to tell you about that. Who else is coming up? Uh, the man behind it, Vinny Favalli. You may recognize him from the Howard Stern Show. That's his show, Vinny Favalli. Vinny's going to be here in just a few seconds. Doesn't matter how you... Well, our next guest knows what it's like to have a dream and see it through by day. Vinny Favalli is the vice president of late night programming for CBS. Uh, but for the last few years, Vinny's pet project has been something called Hereafter Musical, a touching off-Broadway production that explores love and loss. Listen. professional oh, huh? man. what are is they this... waiting for death how can, Wait, how, can playing it. how can this be <laughs> the same thing they're waiting for the bus from the Howard Stern <laughs> show how, uh, is Vinny... this the Vinny from the Howard Sh Stern show yes you may have uh, you may be familiar how, uh, Howard has been making fun of Vinny uh, for, <laughs> for, for years now what is this a roast yes uh, Vinny is here with his writing partner Frankie writing Keen. writing partner writing partner Correct. Frankie Keen. Yeah. welcome to you both thank you keep on playing the song come on you so, liked it what do you think? Yeah, it is nice. <laughs> so what, what were they waiting for? They are waiting for spirits to come through. The show takes place when these three women who are having difficulty dealing with the losses in their life uh, go to see a psychic. And they bond one afternoon. They don't know each other. They meet during this session. And um, spirits materialize one by one, but they hold back from making contact for reasons that you'll discover when you see the show. Very nice. We know your backstory. Howard Stern, CBS boss. Frankie, how about you? I'm from Chicago. I uh, came out. <laughs> came out here and um, it's just great to be a part of this project. It, it just kind of fell in my lap, literally. And uh, The project, not me. <laughs> how did this, how did hey, you hey! To, how did you two get together, <laughs> Vinny and Frank? Okay, here's, uh, I'll give you yeah, the quick you story. Okay. story. I've been working on the show um, with a small group of people, talented people, for four years. And frankly, I was struggling. It was, it was difficult. It's hard. Like, there's nothing in my background to suggest that I could write a musical. Uh, I met Frankie four years into the project. And once we met, we connected. We bonded over our own losses in life. I've had losses. I mean, we all do. Right. No one owns that. But um, I suffered some losses at an early age. So did Frankie. And when I thought I was hiring a singer for one of our songs, and it turned out I was hi hiring a writing partner. Because yeah, nice. we clicked in a major way. When can we see this? April 24th. Uh, the, uh, through May 6th, Theater 80, St. Mark's, Off-Broadway. How much are the tickets these days? $60, and they can be ordered at hereaftermusical.com. Right, so you're proud of it, huh? Is, we're so proud of it. Is Howard Stern going to be there? I hope so. Because if Howard's I, there, we're going. Oh, okay, I'll, you can go on the same night he comes. Well, the word is that you, uh, you, you're a gifted talent manager. You're the executive, a boss at CBS. I work, I work for CBS in charge of late night programming on the East Coast. Late night David programming. Letterman. David Letterman. Correct. Uh, probably has his quirks, right? <laughs> we all do. We all do, right? Some more than others. Yes, yes. Uh, and, but he could, he could relate to you, and you could relate to him. I, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, look, I've, I've been, uh, I, I was on Dave's show 30 years ago just as a stand-up comic. Uh, I made one appearance and then I disappeared for 30 years. <laughs> but I'm very proud working for him. And, and I worked with Howard in the past, and they are a big influence in, in my career. My so life. are they, uh, can we see a little bit of them in this soft broadway production? Actually, there's one joke in the show, which I'm going to out myself right now. I okay. stole from Letterman. He, he did it. Let's hear it. Let's he hear did, it. What well, is no, it? I can't give it away Come on. now. <laughs> no. Well, out of context, it won't be funny. But he did an ad-lib one night, and I figured... He won't miss it. Frankie, do you do anything about these love tapes with uh, your partner here? You know what's funny? Um, I do know of them. And after working with Vinny for four and almost a half years, I think, I have not actually been privy to any of these tapes. And so the rule is now that I do, after all of this labor that I've just put in She's all of dying this to see time, the tapes. People are I dying. feel it's uh, only I fair. I think your life is about to change. Do we have the tapes Shut ready? No. Oh, oh my yeah. God, yes. no. Let's uh, hear oh. a sprinkle of uh, what put Vinny on the map. Vinny, this Sleep was done. your life. Where should we look? Where are we looking? I don't <laughs> I even know. I, I feel blind. Oh, Debbie. Mm. 
I've got the right kind of music for a Friday night, three in the morning. I love you. I love you so much, you know. It's sometimes at the end of the day, I feel like, like I just haven't had enough of you, you know, and I, I just can't wait to wait together. In front of my mother, I'm going to wash your mouth out with oh soap. My what God. is that? I did get the girl. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> if we let that go a little bit further, I felt like you were going to take off your shirt or something. No, that was, I did. There's some clips. The yeah. tidy whitey shots are you, great. There, there's over four hours of them. And I actually <gasps> made that an incentive for people to donate money to the show. So I have to do a screening in a couple of weeks for some people that gave us a lot of money. That That's was the nice. exchange. Yeah. Well, it's so nice to meet so you nice in person. To meet you. The show is called Hereafter Musical. We have a gift for you. You oh, do? Yes. yes. Oh, wow. What's We're this? We're in good health. Oh, oh, it's, it's merchandise already and a CD. Oh, fantastic. Oh, nice. All know. right. And Very hereafter, professional. Thank you. Thank you. And hereaftermusical.com is right. where people could order tickets. And we'll put the information on the sh uh, on our website, myfoxandy.com. Click awesome. on the Good Day tab. And we could also see Frankie in the show. Frankie's yes. starring in the show besides writing it. She's a big part of it. Fantastic. Listen, I don't want to get you jealous, but we're going to have somebody on who's on Broadway. I know. We, saw we know him. we yes. met him. And he's oh, yeah. from Chicago. Yeah. You guys are off Broadway. We're off Broadway. They're on Broadway. They got now, the better green room. I that noticed. means that's <laughs> audience capacity, right? That's all about audience capacity. But they're coming to our show. Okay. That's right. His yeah. name is Turn Wood Harris. You know now. him from The Wire. He's now in oh, a new version of Streetcar Named Desire on Broadway. Wood Harris when we come back. <laughs>